Hi, my name is Kayla Nellis. And my name is Swavy. And we got a song idea here that we started on. There's some drums and a pretty good outline for a song arrangement. So we're going to add upon that. Ready? Yeah, ready. Cool. So I'm going to gonna play this idea for you and see what we come up with. Yeah. All right, here we go. Keep going. I'm just gonna record a little, little electronic key. <laughs> That's hard. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bad boy, mm -hmm. just gonna loop it, boom. And we're gonna build around just this part. And let's add a bass line, yeah. um, good little, little pocket boom, bass boom, line. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, what are, you, what are you thinking sound-wise? What, what, what could you possibly think like? Oh, the, the um. Like the, some, some subby or? Yeah, the subby. Okay, cool. Uh, there's one synthesizer instrument built into Ableton called Operator. It's a FM synthesis. It's my, it might be one of my favorite. I made an entire library of uh, sounds on my own like thing with this uh, uh, synthesis. So uh, as well, I have a thing called Drum Sculptor and the entire thing is built with Operator. So if you're enjoying the sounds in this track, make sure you check out my Kayla Nellis sample pack on Splice. Elevate your production with some of my go-to sounds. The link is in the description. Let's get a good sound with this. So I'm, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just, just gonna shape this bass, this little sub, to just only give us one note mm. and a strong sub note at that. Let's turn off the... So now when you go to your time, roll it off. Last thing I'm gonna add, is a distortion. So majority of this is just sound design. Now we're gonna go down an octave. One more octave. Cool. So I'm gonna just gonna start it and you go mm -hmm. ahead and go for it, okay? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Swavy has a very awesome like time approach to it. For me, my approach is dragging it. Let's let's drag it a little like behind the beat. Instantly made famous by guys like Jay Dilla and D'Angelo. Mm -hmm. uh, the Voodoo record is a great example of that. If you're curious of knowing like what type of style like behind the beat is, I'm gonna do this in a simple way by going down to here to the built-in sample delay here and all we're gonna do is gonna slightly drag this back so we're gonna add a little slight filter on top of this usually the the auto filter built into Ableton has these envelopes most filters think of it as like a rubber band you know a rubber band to kind of like hold something back and it brings it back you know, it's a little, little stretch. And so uh, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a filter through this uh, Rhodes and it's gonna open some pretty cool little mellow sound to this, this keyboard. So it's just gonna be something simple like this. I 
try to like add uh, chorus mm. to things like like these these roads. Mm -hmm. So just to create some little depth, and it'll allow us to be able to expand upon it. So let's go to chorus ensemble, which is the new name on Ableton for chorus. We're gonna add that bad boy in here. You hear another idea on top of that? Okay, so let's take the same sound, duplicate it, and expand on this. I like to do a little surprise thing with creating the presets for these type of uh, tracks. So I gotta make this thing a little, a little signy because it sounds very uh, percussive. Gonna change that quality. Make it a pre delay. Make it like. Oh, wonderful. And I'm gonna tweak it as you play. Oh, yes, sir. Let's go. Cool. Let's go. I didn't expect that last one. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go back and play this and tweak the, the lead a little bit to kind of give it some extra character. Add a little bit of a little chorus ensemble. Let's go ahead and copy this. Put it here. we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this down an octave. Mm. So let's uh, select it all. Bam. So now it's gonna sound like this. You know what I'm hearing? Mm. I'm hearing like a, a whole pad. Yeah, so just something to kind of rise with it. So we're gonna make another MIDI track. Let's just copy this. I'm gonna keep the same settings for that lead. And we're gonna make a pad. So instruments, let's see here, analog pad. Let's see what kind of presets they got already. We can tweak it. Let's make it airy. Mm -hmm. And so I like these kind of presets because you can kind of tweak them a little more as you use it. So it'll go from something like this to with the effects that we have here on this channel. Let's go ahead and add way more reverb. Break the rules. Break the rules. Cool. Now, go ahead. All we're gonna do is take this bad boy here and I'm gonna create some cool little textury stuff uh, from this point. Let's go ahead and create an entire group for this. Now this is the cool part that I like about Ableton. There's a plugin out there amongst the internet and the, you know, the discorders that create music. It's the RC20s of the world. RC20 is one of those plugins that have everything built into it. But let's say you have Ableton but you don't have RC20 there is a substitution. There's always a substitution. And so I think I ended up using this thing called Echo and Echo, hilariously enough, you would be surprised that this one delay has the same principles as a RC20. So I'm gonna turn this all the way down, turn off the feedback, make sure the sync is off. 
here for this this uh, particular thing here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna solo the chords, bass, and the lead that was just added. So we're gonna create some cool little textures with that. Gonna add a little bit of wobble. It's gonna be some slight wobble. Oh, that's cool. See those little intricacies right there, man? Also, aspiring producers, if you subscribe to Splice by May 15th, you'll receive an Ableton Live Lite redemption code in your email to get started with Ableton and elevate your production game today. So we're gonna do this, create a new track. And sometimes I like to actually use the tail end of a lot of reverb. It allows to be able to create like some reverse tail end and kind of some risings and stuff. And so let's go ahead and record channel five. Bam, here. And mind you, this little effect that I'm about to show you can go a long way. Depending on how you want to approach it, it can take you from right here to like, oh shucks, I can throw this thing on like the entire song. So uh, I'm just gonna record just one note. You're gonna just see that one part. And that's all I need. Cause this, that tail end is gonna turn into something like this. Hit this and reverse. So now, Let's just go ahead and, yep, delete this. So now you have this. Uh. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, so we're playing with the space that way to be able to get stuff like that. As well, there is a stock sound here in Ableton. It is none other uh -huh. than the signature triangle. Nope. Nope, uh, hey, that's the one. So now, you throw here, get a little bit of reverb. A bit of reverb. Just, just a little bit, not a lot. Not a lot. Just a little bit. <laughs> throw a reverb on top of it, and it's just gonna sound something like this. One more thing, utility. Make that a left because i'm hearing more left than right so mm. there we go so now let me also freeze this because i want to i'm going to mess with that reverb flatten create another one we're gonna drag this to another track reverse reverse <laughs> 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 yeah i was just thinking that so we're just gonna put this right here you're gonna make it really really subtle Really, really subtle. Don't wanna scare nobody with no triangle now. Just like this. We already basically have drums, the arrangement is there, the ideas are there. Now it's just putting the final pieces and touches on this track. I'm hearing something crazy hmm. right here in the very beginning. And this is gonna be a little final touch, final touch. So this, we already have everything kind of leading up with the risers. Now all we need is just like rising chords. They're like, like arpeggiated almost. Yeah, so. Let's try adding, that actually sounds really cool. So what if I take away the reverb? Oh, 
that's nice. Now I'm gonna throw a arpeggiator on top of it. And I'm gonna try something real quick. Can you hold that chord? Yeah. That's all I want you to hold, okay? Let's go. Two, three. That's it. Yeah. We're gonna do some little, little slight here, just as a little, little filter. Bam just like this. And that's literally the last like element I think we could possibly add to this. Mm. So we're just gonna slowly. Ooh, what if I started off at the very top? Uh, all right, so let's just drag that all the way. It's like it's. Yeah, it's like climbing almost. Yeah, like from like underwater. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes sir, <laughs> all right. <laughs> What if you made it like, like wide? It's like, oh, yeah. like swim. Yeah. Ah, okay, that'd be really cool. That'd be really cool. Okay, I'd like that. I like that idea. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and move yes, this over here. Idea. I got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. I'm gonna cut that off. Cut that off. Boom. Mm. Yeah. All right. So for everything that we've done right now in the session, let's go ahead and turn this all off. All right, you can see here, we are clearly in a red. So you know what we're gonna do? Take everything here and turn it down. 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 All right, go down maybe, maybe low three. Now watch this, you got enough headroom. I don't know if headroom. Matter of fact, before you're in a demo final mix stage, if there's red, there's clearly distortion somewhere in your mix. So it is best to just turn it down. In my master chain, I have, for instance, utility, EQ3, glue compressor, and limiter. Everybody has like their own like chain. And I know for all my beat videos that I ever upload on my Instagram, especially things that I've worked with with Swaby on the Funk Will Prevail, all of them have this exact same master chain. My entire album has used this master chain. It's more so on the uh, the, the retrospect that you have somewhere where you can monitor the, the low end, the EQ, the compression as well, where things should be limited at. So let's see here. It's a very like groovy kind of setup. Put the ratio. Put the ratio to like number four. Let's do this. Four. It's funny. I realized the kick was way too low. So beforehand, you could see what was too loud and what was not loud enough. Mm -hmm. So definitely turn that triangle down. I'm gonna turn this bad boy down. And this is just like surface level mixing. There's a mm -hmm. lot of detail when it comes to getting final, final mixes. The kick should definitely be a little, little punchier, a little more on the groovier end. Mm -hmm. 
And so we're just gonna keep it really simple and light. So audio effects, let's add, because uh, this is actually stylistic EQ, it's not like a actual EQing of the, of the sound. We're gonna do a little EQ and make sure we apply this to everything. Saturation and EQ for everything. Bam. And all I'm gonna do is create a little preset. We're just gonna create a little preset. So group these together and something very, very, very simple. All you're gonna do is just map, okay? So saturation, we're gonna rename this saturate. 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 And then let's go ahead and map this here. Dry wet, boom. And typically when it comes to the drive of my saturator, I like to keep it at like 60 V mm. and preferably on a soft clip. That's usually on drums, but I don't so I don't soft clip other things unless it's like stylistic. Yeah, other than yeah, that, yeah. usually I keep the soft clip off. Let's just go ahead and map this right here. Bam. And as well, let's go ahead and create a little, little slight little EQ here. That way we ain't got no confusion <laughs> when it comes to EQing anything in this thing. So this is just gonna be surface level EQing. And another thing when it comes to mixing and doing like a little final thing, don't use your eyes. Don't use your eyes. So huh, we're gonna end up taking this and we're gonna rename this as quick Q. All right, so that just about does it. Let's listen to the whole thing in its uh, entirety. You ready? Ready. Cool. That was awesome. Swave, you killed it. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys for just tuning in and, you know, learned about the process. My name is Kalen. My name's Swavey. And this has been Splice Skills, my Splice Skills lesson. And uh, catch you around. Bye.